Hi, I'm Mike Santora, Associate Editor for Design World Magazine and Make Parts Fast. And today I am here with Marco Cristofori from the Now Lab department at Big Rep. And today we're talking about the narrow bike, which was designed by Marco. So Marco, can, can you walk us through the development of this bike? Because I understand that from, from conception on the way uh, through putting this bike on the road was around 12 weeks. Is that exactly. correct? Exactly. That's true. Okay. Exactly. So tell me a little bit about how that actually took place and maybe some of the design challenges you had and then how you overcame of them course. along the process. Okay. So first of all, let's start from the main challenge. That was a, uh, basically 3D print the whole e-bike, right? Everything is 3D printed beside the electronics. So we didn't want to use any metal frame and then cover it. So kind of faking it, but actually making it fully 3D printed. So this uh -huh. was the main challenge. So what we had to do basically was to redefine everything that a normal motorcycle has, right? First of all, we had the advantage of using e-motor, an electric motor, which of course helps us. So we don't have a tank, we don't have fuel, we just have a motor that is embedded on the back wheel. Mm -hmm. And we have a battery that is embedded inside the body of the bike. Okay. And uh, an HMI to control it that is inside, right? So the whole thing has been developed, as you said, in 12 weeks. From when we started, from when we started sketching to the day we started like riding it around Berlin was 12 weeks. So we're talking about three months. So if you think about the standard production method, something like that would be impossible. Also because we use ma one machine, right? Of course, multiple big rep one, but one machine to produce every single part. So from the soft part, like the seats from the airless tires, which are one of the innovation that we, we put in. Mm -hmm. So we have airless tire printed with soft material. We have this basket, that is, this seat that is printed with TPU, again, soft material. One issue was how do we do the suspension? We don't want to have metal suspension. We don't have like hydraulic suspension. So we had to redefine that, the whole concept of suspension. So we decided to split the body in two parts. As you see, there is a top part and there is a bottom part. And in the middle, there is a bumper that mm -hmm. is printed with the same material like TPO, so it's a soft one. Mm -hmm. So the bottom part and the uh, top part are basically floating. So whenever you hit something with the back wheel, this bumper so this will absorb the all the shots. And also the feeling is kind of cool, right? When you see it because it squeezes on the street. So you see yeah. actually the bike that squeezes. Again, another thing is the, as I was saying, the airless tires, we already developed it before airless tire for bicycles, as you can see on our boot. And then we wanted to push a bit forward. Mm -hmm. So we had two different uh, airless tires mm -hmm. to show how much you can also customize them, which is another plus. Right. So for example, the front one has like an arch structure, right? They're all like arches, mm -hmm. while the back one is more hexagonal. What's the difference? One is absorbing more the heat because we don't have the suspension on the front. This works just from the back. Mm -hmm. So the front tire will basically absorb more, while the back one is more rigid, which is fine because we have the bumper and also because it embeds the motor. The motor is inside the back wheel. So this will help also to motor to be stable and structured inside. <laughs> the nice part again is that you, the design itself, of course, we just got a bit of inspiration maybe from Batman, let's say, in a of way, course, right? right? Looks like a bit of a bat motor. Yeah. But this is not, it's not the point, right? You can have whatever design you want. Uh -huh. That's the beauty part. We can just change the shell, mm -hmm. we can change the shape, and you can just print it, print it again. So mm -hmm. it doesn't matter the design language. That's totally up to the designer, to the right. producer or whatever. The best part is that all the electronics are embedded inside. Mm -hmm. So this bike is basically split in half. We printed like half year and half there. Mm -hmm. And inside you have all the gaps to fit perfectly, all the cabling, the battery, the motor again, and then you just clamp it, close it. Mm -hmm. And this is crazy because if you want to just change battery, you want to change something or add something, you just change a bit the 3D model, you print it again and you assemble it and right. you're ready to go. It, this is a fantastic bike. This is fascinating. I appreciate your time. Can you Thanks. tell everybody where they can find out more about the bike and uh, now lab of course. from Big Rep? You can just check our website. So it's www.bigrep.com. So and there is all the projects that we're developing in the innovation department of Big Rep. Very cool. Well, thank you so much. Thank and of course, for more videos like this, you can go to designworldonline.com.